Hello, Eternum. This is that Yi guy. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season. And today in PTR, we got the Mutator system and the Umbra Shard system. So so far,、uh, I have spent a couple hours with a few of my friends,、um, just testing on the PTR. So not only can I go over what new content is here, I can provide some footage and kind of results from our testing so far. On the PTR server, so hopefully this is more informative than just、um, reading this out, and it hopefully provides something that you can't get from just reading this yourself. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is the mutated expedition. What that is is a twist on the classic、uh, expedition system. So far, there are three included in this change. Dynasty Shipyard, Garden of Genesis, and Lazarus Instrumentality. Now, if we jump to the detailed notes、uh, that's also posted, they will list that there are ten difficulty levels per expedition mutation, which is absolutely right. We saw that in the footage. The mutator orbs are universal.、Um, players can craft one per week and will be able to purchase additional orbs in the faction shop. So what this means is that you craft an item that's just mutator orbs, and you can see here the crafting cost.、Uh, something that's interesting is that it does cost gem dust,、uh, which is made by breaking down three of any pristine uncut gems. So maybe you want to stock up a little bit on it.、Uh, there will be people telling you to just buy them up in bulk because that's going to make you a killing when you flip them. But the thing is, you can only use ten of these a week per person. So、uh, that depends on if you think that、um, the supply is gonna dry up super fast or anything like that. But you can kind of make your own decisions. So if you overdo it on gathering the gems,、um, it might be awkward when you try to sell them later. But I mean, prices will go up because there will be YouTubers telling everyone to buy. So. The、prices will go up to a certain point. How long it stays up, that's gonna be a different story.、Uh, once you craft it,、um, you can also purchase it in the faction shop. But there is a cooldown symbol next to it, so I don't know what the limit is, what the cooldown is. So hopefully we're gonna find out eventually,、um, because on PTR it's kind of hard to go through and unlock all these rank and try to buy it. In order to actually see what it is, so hopefully they release more information, or if someone's dedicated enough to grind through、uh, reputation to the maximum in order to just test this out. So mutation effects、um, are listed here. I will put the link of both posts down below so you can check out for yourself. So the one that I was in the expedition I did was、uh, if we. Let them get four voyage charges by hitting them, etc. They will release a、um, delayed AOE nuke that actually does a ton of damage. So it's just something extra you have to worry about when you're going through the content. It's kind of interesting. I'm excited to see exactly how the other ones play out. Another interesting thing I saw was the mutator perks mentioned in this post. And yes, I managed to get some of the new ones inside the mutated dungeons. So、um, ideally, those will scale based on gear score, and they could potentially be very good.、Uh, this is something that I will probably test out and mention in the future.、Um, so please stay tuned. For Now, another thing people are probably wondering about is the Umbra Shard system. So you can acquire Umbra Shards in three different ways. Uh, mutation mutators are the best way.、Uh, it, you get shards based on the score. So we had a potential, particularly difficult and rough first time、uh, with this new system, and at the end we managed to earn twenty seven shards. So that might look like a lot, but something that's not mentioned in the notes is that for each rank of difficulty. It requires more and more shards to increase the actual score. So twenty-seven doesn't get you twenty-seven bumps, because the first bump will cost one,、uh, the second bump two, 
three, four, five. So eventually you're gonna need uh, 25 uh, shards just to get one bump as you reach the very end of that uh, upgrade. So you're gonna need a lot of shards. So expedition, uh, the bumps, it's gonna be very st uh, strategic how you increase that and it's gonna be quite a grind. In order to figure out how many shards you need to max uh, a specific slot, uh, if the pattern holds true, we're just gonna take the highest number and the lowest number and take that as 26 and the, multiply by half of how many numbers there are, so 12.5. So if my math is correct, unless I'm messing something up, for each slot to get it to the absolute maximum, you are going to need 300 and 25 shards. Of course, in the lowest level mutator, uh, performing really badly, uh, we managed to earn 27 shards. So I assume we're gonna get more with better performance, with a higher tier difficulty, and potentially one of the many other ways that you're supposed to uh, acquire the shards from the gypsum cast opening, from crafting uh, once you have max expertise, and everything like that. So. I'm not too worried about it for now. So thank you so much for watching. If I find out more things through my PTR test, I will post and make updates, um, etc. And yeah, while I, I feel really bad making um, posts about the patches and releases without testing it first, but I feel like in the future, I will have to maybe uh, put these two in a separate video. Uh, one where I just go over announce, announcement and things like that and just try to beat the rush of everyone coming out of this and then later on a separate video with the results of that testing uh, to kind of confirm or provide more details on the actual new content. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and please have a wonderful day.